Vegas is over because he's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. And you <laughs> Darn it. are invited now. <laughs> I'm de-inviting you. I, this right. whole conversation was for the invite. I was like, hey, it's mm. happening. And now, you know what? Now it's not happening. All right. We're here. <laughs> We're here with Jackson Greaves. Jackie G, as we like to call him on the slide. I'm your host, Fraser LeVay, InspireTravelEat.com. And we have the best travel podcast in the universe. We hope, we think. And yeah, this day, this time, we're talking about the best nine to, we may add a few more places to have a bachelor or a bachelorette party. And uh, this is our second episode ever. Episode one, you know, a little rough around the edges, but we've got new microphones. We've got a clear picture of what we need to do. Last time it started out, uh, Jackson asked how my dog was doing. And he kind of caught himself, I but I don't remember that. And uh, did not do that. My dog had died three months ago, so that's how we started the conversation. And then we <laughs> spent the first two minutes shouting out random companies and friends because <laughs> Jackson just wanted to make sure that Joe Rogan got like a, a hello and squirt. So that was fine. I mean, it was nice to just include our friends. And then now that we know what we're doing, like we just started it off because last time we did our podcast, our first one, the best things to do in Nashville, the must do things. And after countless shout outs and everything, uh, here's, I'll just play it for you. Um, Jackson at minute 31 said this. All right, well, wrapping up, is there any other things we miss of must do Nashville things? We got the Ryman, you got to see our show there. Oh, must do? Yeah. Like, like must do, we haven't even really gotten into the must do. I think we got into your shout like out. So, 31 minutes and Jackson realized that it was the must do things in Nashville after we wasted a lot of people's time. But you know what? You were entertaining. You're a beauty. We've got our beer. You've got, are we allowed to say you're drinking a certain kind of beer? Should we shout that out? I'll crack mine. We don't want to reveal medical conditions, I guess. Or can uh, we? Coors Pure. And what is, it's is no like sugar? Beer. No sugar. Um, organic hops, organic barley, and water. Um, hmm. We'll see how it makes me feel. Well, that's great. Mm-hmm. I, uh, how's it taste? Not bad. Yeah, Not it bad. could be better, could be worse. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest. That's right. It's all okay. right, though. It's yeah. All, I mean, I'm going to drink it. Yeah. I'm doing Mick Ultra just because I'm going to go on a bike ride, a mountain bike ride soon. So I feel like it felt healthiest. Oh, I got a mountain bike now. You want to see my mountain bike? I- no, not yet, because we got to finish this. All right. Old Jackson's gone. Uh, the things we're going to cover as he gets his fucking mountain bike, because that's what people care about. He, he's like a, a child. You just have to reel them in somehow anyways ease in and out is a big one so being able to you know if you're coming from new york oh he's riding his mountain bike in great this is part of the podcast thank you jackson um it's nice isn't it I, yeah can you get back in the microphone for fuck's yeah, sake get this in the background so people know i'm out bike too okay all the the giant mountain bike community in dallas texas just Shout out to with, with giant mountain with bike mountains. community in Dallas. Holler at me. I'm new in town. So I'm, I'm looking to mountain bike with some folks who share the mountain bike and passion as much as I do. I don't uh, think there are mountains in Dallas. Are there? We Some of us move mountains daily, you know? Okay. Not sure. Emotional, physical. Yeah. But in terms of bi- riding them on a bike, I just don't see it. Anyways. Let's get, uh, I was telling them about things you need to look for for a bachelor party, what we're going to dive into, nine places that they have to go, a little bit unique, because we're not going to Vegas. You don't need Google, you don't need a podcast to say, hey, go to Las Vegas for a bachelor or bachelorette party, go to Miami, go to New York. Everyone knows the big places. We're kind of getting somewhere unique here and there within reason. I mean, it's hard to find the most unique places, but good suggestions of why you should skip the Las Vegas, why you should skip Miami and try some other places that... A little bit more fun, easy to get to, affordable for everyone. Because you've been in weddings, Jackson. They cost, you go to someone's wedding, it's costing you $5,000 if you're in it. Then you add in the bachelor party. I mean, I've had some $10,000 weddings that I'm just, you know, I guess it's not not ideal. 
So we want cost, ease of getting in and out. Because if you're coming from New York, sure, I would love to go to know, Lake Tahoe. But then you got to fly into Reno and you got to take a shuttle or rent a car. That one's actually not that bad. Uh, ski hills in Colorado are a little bit tougher. You got to fly into Denver, get a shuttle, rent a car. Maybe you're waiting for your friend in Miami who's flying in or your friend from Dallas who's flying in. So you can all drive up together. So you want, you know, in and out, easy breezy. Because you mentioned before, time. Some people only have a weekend. So we can't go to Tulum, which I have on our list. But maybe that's not for you because Plato, Carmen, Tulum, you have to fly which a far distance to Cancun. Mm-hmm. Then if you want to go to Tulum, it's a two-hour drive minimum to get down to Tulum by the time you check into your Airbnb, your hotel. Checking into hotels in Mexico is a nightmare. It takes forever. Mm-hmm. So it's really a full day asked to do there and you know a few other places. So we'll kind of dive into that. And uh, yeah, nightlife, other things to do. I know on your bachelor parties, do you like to do, are you more of a, just a drinker or do you like to go do, I, like I, I'd rather do some activities, like maybe a hike, maybe go tubing down a river, you know, some other unique stuff, events. I mean, I definitely agree with that. I mean, I love going to do activities, especially now that I'm older, you know, mm-hmm. bars used to, bars were all I was concerned about, you know coming yeah. up to age 25 uh, you know now these later years towards my 30 30s uh i'm more concerned about you know how you know activities that have nice places to sit down you know or relax or uh enjoy the scenery um have a nice cocktail you know not necessarily just go to a bar i like a nice lunch spot nice dinner spot maybe go do uh, a cooking class with the boys, you know, like yeah. fun, fun things like that. Um, I do, I do uh, love to throw in kind of the um, occasional fishing or outdoor related activities. I like, yeah. I like getting into the sports. Um, that way it gets all the fellas involved. I mean, golfing is always popular, you know, but there's more than golfing. There, there's, there truly is. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Well, let's dive into some spots, and we can kind of hit on some of these topics. Number one, near and dear to my heart, I've kind of gone back, so everyone knows I wrote an article that's been read millions of times about the nine best places, unique best places, for a bachelor or a bachelor party. That was a few years ago, and I've still kind of kept it the same, but if we're going to talk about it, there's some things I would take out of what I wrote and edit a little bit. And we'll start with Scottsdale, Arizona, where I reside. It used to be my number one. It still is definitely up there. It's got it all. Like I said, I would always tell everyone, don't go to Las Vegas. All you do is day party, night party, day party. Maybe go to a show. Maybe have a nice dinner. But really, like, let's try something unique. Like I said, we're older. So Scott still has it all. You can go hiking. You can go to events like the world famous Phoenix Open uh, Golf Tournament, the Waste Management Open. Mm -hmm. Absolute chaos. Great time. There's tons of sports going on. If you're a sports, you know, if you're from Chicago, you watch the Blackhawks or watch the Bears when they're here. Spring training. If you like the Cubs, you can watch the Cubs. There's so many things you can do in Scottsdale. If you want to go for a hike, you know, sweat out the night before. Camelback Mountain in the heart of Old Town. There's tubing that you can go Tuba River just 45 minutes from the heart, 30 minutes from the heart of downtown. Uh, Phoenix and Scottsdale. So aside from just drinking, there's a plethora of fun things to do. And uh, the only hindrance now is Scottsdale's gotten hella expensive. It used to be a fraction of the price of Las Vegas. Still kind of is, but Old Town Scottsdale's gotten brutal lately. But I still stand by it. Beautiful what's spot. Your, uh, what's your favorite cheap activity then for the boys, Frazier? Ooh. If I, my favorite thing to do in all of Phoenix is go to Buffalo Chip, North Scottsdale. Yeah. Well, it's in Cave Creek, but it's north of Scottsdale. And I actually wrote a, a bull there, a live bull. So you can do that on Friday. You pay like 40 bucks, sign a waiver, give a thumbprint, and you get on that bull. So I guess it's not free, but... And drinks are nice and affordable up there. It's beautiful. It's laid back, country. That's on a Friday night. That's a must do. That's the number one thing I tell everyone to do. Wow. A live bull. Mm-hmm. How many people do you think ride it a night? Oh, there's about 27. 
That's got to be a ton of bowl. Well, there's multiple bowl. bowls, Jackson. It's like a full stadium. This is every night? Every Fridays and Wednesdays. Friday Amateur and bowl writing. Why you need you to think? go. I was about to say, why haven't you taken me? Well, because we had our event when this you were here the last two times. We'll yeah, do it we next time. Do, yeah, I was about to say, we can just do it as friends. We don't have to be ba- celebrating a bachelor party to go to Blue Chip. That just sounds like a good time. Wow. Yeah, no, it's the best time. My favorite thing to do. Wow. That's, yeah. Man, I don't know if I have anything to top that, or maybe I do. I don't know. That's but okay. Probably not. I don't have much. Oh, and there's also holy. great brunch spots. Old Town Scott Sale, you can just brunch hop. You can start day drinking, have a good time. There's pool parties. Um, yeah, just a great a great place well, to go. Now, what about a when? What about in the like when it gets cooler? In the cooler times, what uh, what is there to do if not necessarily you want to stay outside? Is it a great concert? Are there good live music venues, Frazier? Yeah, what's uh, what's great about Scottsdale is there's no cold times. It's always warm. And in the summer, it's too hot. So you almost want to avoid it in the summer. So you'd want to go more spring, fall, winter, but it's still enjoyable in the summer. Fantastic. Have you been to, let's go to number two. Hit me with it. Um, I had it as my number one. I, I fluctuate back and forth, and we talked talked about it a little bit. Um, Tulum or Playa del Carmen, Cancun, that whole region. I've been, to and Mexico. here's why. You've been. I've been to Mexico. Where'd you go? Uh, Cancun, and I think, I think, yeah, pretty much some places around Cancun. Yeah, there. Magic, and I'll tell you why. Fantastic. You have to go to that area of Mexico for a couple reasons, but like Cabo, Cabo is basically Las Vegas on a beach and Cabo, you can't go in the water in 75% of the places. The beach is rocky. It's just a strip of bars. It's great if you're 20 and spring break, but aside from that, no, I'm not a fan. You go to Tulum, you go to Plato Carmen or Cancun, that whole region, the Quintana Roo, there's cenotes, there's beautiful beaches. There's You can go on a little uh, tour of some ruins. There's ruins everywhere. There's some you can climb to the top of. So you get a mix of the culture. The cost is oh. outrageously affordable. What what What's it like at the ruins commercial-wise? Where do you like go to the bathroom? Is it like porta potty set up, or do they got like little, like little travel centers? I haven't personally been out there in... Every time I see, you know, pictures, it's always right in front of the temple. They don't show me the, you know, the behind the scenes, which I'm yeah. always a big fan of. You You're always like wonder who are they making these behind the scenes stuff for? It's people like me. You know, I, I want to know what what's the behind the scenes at these temples. And so uh, what? Yeah, what other kind of behind the scenes aside from the bathrooms do you imagine? I don't know. Is there food? Is there snacks? Um, are there? Um, quite frankly souvenirs you know i i i typically do buy all my souvenirs at airports i i frantically yeah. but um it is nice to know where i can get a keychain um at all times mm. and I'm, especially when i am abroad you know yeah i'm glad you brought up frantically buying things in airports now i won't fault you because you work 24 straight hours and you're very tired and you flew in for my very big birthday but you came in and you gave me a a bottle of moonshine. Here, let me get it. Actually, I've got it right <laughs> here. Uh, so Jackson walks in. He's like, oh, "I got this from the distillery." He's like, it's "The greatest no, stuff." I mean, God, blah 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 blah, blah blah blah. Like you would imagine. Like trying to sell me. Like I didn't live in Nashville. Like I don't know the airport. No, and this is just like something you buy and duty free. They said it's good. Yeah, it is good, but you tried to pitch it like, oh yeah, like you it was some sort of underground thing, like it wasn't just a last second purchase at the airport. I don't know what you're talking about. I just yeah. they it's a good gift. Yeah. And I'm mean, sweet of you. It's a they I people talk about it. In mm-hmm. fact, take a shot of it right now. You know, they, you should tell the people how it is. All right. It's mango habanero. If I, ha- if I had it here, I would I would drink it, but you can only get it very exclusively. At the airport. In Tennessee, in, in the Tennessee, it's not like I can go down to the store and get that. So, mm, that you know, sense. you're welcome. That's a, that's a, that's the long story short is all. That's mm. all I hear from you. No, nice it was 
Thank you. You were very tired and stressed out from multiple long days of working, and you got me a present, so that was beautiful. Thank you. Um, so there is bathrooms. There are knickknacks you can buy, and there is a lot of food, so you're fine. Also in Tulum, it's so cheap. I mean, do you want a spa day for the girls, a spa day for the boys, or even $40 massages on the beach, restaurants, food is cheap. Everything is just in the culture. I mean, if you're going to a bachelor party, if you, if I'm traveling with you, Jackson, I don't want to show you a Las Vegas bar. I want to show you temples. I want to take you on, you know, cenote water swimming holes. I want right, to do so right. much fun stuff. Did you say massages on the beach, Frazier? Yeah. $40 now, are massages these, on are, the beach. Are these like independent contractors or are these hired out by the, you know, the, the resorts? Like, you can do uh, both. Um, oh yeah it, at the resorts you typically play pay a lot well, more i wonder what the massage license type of thing is in mexico because like i'm wondering if you just got bamboozled by some dude just with a bottle of lotion wandering on the beach <laughs> yeah that's, that's exactly what happened i, I think that's I, exactly what happened I, I, <laughs> no, Jackson, I'm not. You don't lay on a towel and have a random man rub you. Often. You just, I mean, sometimes. You just come up to you and be like, yeah, it depends how much you want to pay. <laughs> but no, they have like full setups, like an awning, a tent, and the massage tables on the beach. Oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's so. not just a random dude coming up to you. Like, hey, <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone with my his Spanish accent, so I won't do that. You need a massage, Holmes? <laughs> hey, Mike wow. McCluskey. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to take the shot. So, I have no idea what you're doing. There. Tulum, Plato Carmen, cheap, great parties. Tulum's gotten <laughs> unreal busy now, so it's not as cheap as it used to. When I wrote this, it was a bit better. But uh, still a great place, especially if you had lots of time or culture. Costa Rica is another good one. It's a, an easy flight, five hours. The only negative is... You kind of have to, if you fly into San Jose, you'll have to uh, take a shuttle or a taxi to the next place, which is a couple hours away. But Costa Rica is another one I love. Just mm -hmm. so much beautiful stuff to do if you really want adventures. When I was in Costa Rica last, I was actually shout out. I met a whole bachelorette party. They're from Miami and Atlanta. They're on my tour. Great people. They had a brilliant time. They, you know, if you don't just want to party, I guess mm -hmm. that's where you go. I'll take this old Smoky, which. Segway, uh, next on the list, we talked about it already enough, but there's an Old Smoky Distillery in Nashville. Yes, there and is. And Nashville is next on the list for... Big fan, for near and dear to my heart. Mm. Um, some fantastic things to do in Nashville, great bars. <laughs> this is delightful. I, I told you. What percent is it? It should be, it's not that much. I was going to say it can't be without a tape. 35%, that's pretty good for the tastiness. Yeah, I, was about, I was about to say it's like not that, it's not that yeah. high, but it. That's I, high. It, it's, you can make some interesting cocktails with it. Some interesting old fashions with that flavor. I think I might just do shots of that all the time with people because it, it's got a mango taste and then a kick. Mango of, habanera. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I yeah. was highly recommended. Yeah, at, by the lady at the airport at 8 a.m. in Nashville when you came. 9 a.m., Frazier, mm. 9 a.m. Okay, understandable. Um, what else? So Nashville, you know, we talked about it in the last pod, but quickly give me a, a breeze down. Um, great bars, great distance from another, decently priced. Um, I would, lots of Airbnbs. So, like, if you're going with a big group of people, Y'all can find a reasonably priced place um, and ranging of budgets. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, if you want a really nice place, you can definitely find one. I recommend the Germantown area. Um, that way you have easy access. Ubers will stay cheap. Um, I, I highly recommend uh, some, some of the low, cheaper hotels that are still really nice that are really cool is uh, the Dive Motel. Um, also, the... Um, it's kind of a boutique hotel. They, uh, it's themed. It, it, it has a really cool pool to it with um, great food um, yeah. and great bar there too. Dive Motel is really interesting. Um, 
if you want something high end for women, there's that. Is it the Virgin Hotel with that rooftop? Virgin Hotel is it's fantastic. If you want to spend a little bit more, yeah, beautiful, Uh, amazing. The Four Seasons just opened up as well. Yeah, which is fantastic. I also recommend if you want to stay high end but you want to maintain a budget, the Twenty One C Hotel, and that's like right downtown too, right downtown, and it has a really great uh, restaurant and bar in it as well. So. And uh, one thing I love about Nashville is easy to get around everywhere. It's literally 15 minutes from the airport. You're in downtown. Anywhere you want to go is five minutes. It's just such a small, big city that it's really simple to do everything. You can go to Two Foot, the lake there, rent a boat or find someone with a boat, and they just tie up boats there, have a good party, hop in music, Printer's Alley, Jackson suggested before. Mm-hmm. Great food. Uh, what's a couple of favorite spots to eat um, at that you liked uh i really love to eat at um some it's amazing Martin's? black rabbit is really fantastic um let's see here uh martin's barbecue is fantastic and you said um, they have live music sometime they do they have they have yeah. some great live music there um if you're if you're looking for more just get uh for everyone to be happy i would do the uh fifth and broadway food hall which it has h- about a hundred restaurants in it and every in a food court and everyone can be real happy and it's right across from bridgestone so nice. so you can pop in get a quick bite and then get to your concert or to your predators game or um, whatever you're doing so yeah that's, that's, nice. that's fantastic I feel like I would like to do a bachelor party that's surrounded an event. So like there you've got the CMA fest, like that'd be a fun time. Like in Phoenix, they've got the waste management open spring training, you know, some sort of activity versus I know with my group of friends, I say I want to do stuff, but we hit the bar on Thursday night. And before you know it, it's Monday and we've never left the bar stools and I just want to jump off a roof. Man, I'm glad you have it. Yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. But I know you were hating on Vegas, though. But like yeah. we met in Vegas, you know? that is true. You can't hate on Vegas entirely, and uh, there are some great things to do in Vegas other than just stay in a hotel and gamble, such as dune buggies, go karts, rentals like that. Um, you know, there's some great concerts in the you know Nevada area to go to, um, out in you know the wilderness, uh, so to speak. Yeah. Um, that's another fair. one have you been to san diego mm. with the boys that's on the list it, it should be higher i think i've got it fourth i haven't been i've heard great things i was about to ask uh, yeah I, so i've got it fourth on my article I, it could easily be first and it really it should be first same thing uh not to keep on shit on vegas but let's do it it's just san diego it's got that nice clean air you know you're on the ocean hopefully you get a place on mission bay pacific beach mission beach la jolla and you wake up and nothing makes you feel better than a dip in the ocean you know you're struggling a little bit lay on the beach it's got pacific beaches has a strip of bars that's very casual you know you go in like how we're dressed now you go in shorts flip-flops get some food maybe if you want to try surfing you can surf that you learn to surf there there is hiking as well tons of great places to hike you like to fish don't you jackson you can go on a fishing a fishing I charter. It. I I live to fish. Yeah. Love so it. I think that's another thing is like, is it you want to go somewhere, fisherman. something else to do to get up off out of the bar? Like, let's yeah. find something else where Scottsdale or sorry Vegas. I feel like that's sort of a main thing to do. But you're really good at pouring beer for a super chef. Jackson's an incredible chef. No, this is a terrible glass. But fun fact, yeah, actually, if you pour it the more foam, it. Uh, all that trap gas gets out of it so it doesn't bubble up in your stomach and you feel better. It's actually a fun fact. I mean, that's a fair fact, but I feel like it doesn't taste as good without the carbonation. It already doesn't have sugar and it's organic. So, you know, how good can it taste? Mm. Shout out Coors Pure. Actually, I'm, I'm, it's growing on me. That's good. What percent is it? Um, I think it's low. Hmm. It's got to be right. I, I We'll table this for a different one, but I've always thought 3. there needs 8. to be a beer. 3.8, oh, yeah. pretty decent. Beer. I like that. I know what my culture is. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, we're not going to waste my our time looking for it. Um, oh, 4.5, I think. Okay. San Diego. Uh, beautiful. There's Seal Beach. There's mm. also nightclubs downtown if you want to go like full Rage Nightclub or the Gas Lamp District. If you just want the low-key beach bars, you stay in uh, Pacific Beach area. I just love it. I love being on the water. You know, you can go fishing. You can go whale watching. If you're on a girl's trip, you do a little uh, sunset booze cruise. So oh, I I do love a booze cruise. <laughs> yeah. And one. you get maybe you see a whale, some seals, some walrus. I have I've heard that's life changing. Mm-hmm. What kind of whales are we talking? You know, specific breed. Uh, humpback and blue whales. Mm. Yeah, I Those just made that huge. up. Huge. Yeah. Huge. Oh yeah, there's big ones. I just assume that's what they are. There's actually a, a lot of great white sharks in San Diego. A lot of people don't know that it's a huge breeding ground. But there's very few attacks because that's where they breed and where the babies are. It's not until they start going up north to the colder water where they start really getting vicious and ripping people's legs off. They do say that about northern northerners, yeah. uh, northern Californianers. They're yeah. vicious up there. Uh, another spot, I may throw actually this in. Well, let's go to Austin first, and we'll stay in Texas after that. So Austin, another great spot. Um. Have you been? Austin? Yeah. 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 Love Austin. Shout out. Is that a shirt that's from yep, Austin? The Terry Blacks. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Yeah. Big fan. Um, Salt Lake. It, 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 hey, Salt Lake is great. Salt Lake is great. But it's all, you know, it's not all hype. It, it's, it's, it meets the hype. You know, it, it yeah. overbeats the hype. It, <clears throat> it is, bar- barbecue is fantastic down there. Yeah. Um, there's great comedy scene. Like mm. I'm a big, I'm really into comedy. Obviously. Um, you, you throw a rock and you'll hit an open mic. And so there's always good up and coming comics around, but there's big, big names there. And Joe Rogan just opened up his club down there. Actually, actually that's where you got all this information shit. from as like an episode of Joe Rogan. <laughs> no, uh, I watch kill Tony regularly. If you mm. haven't seen kill Tony, I would watch kill Tony. Um, okay really good really good um pot live podcast where um con- it, it's every monday night in austin so um at oh. the um it's now at the comedy mothership it used to be at the vulcan um but um great place wow that's a plethora of comedy knowledge yeah i and i would say i love i like austin nashville, a lot, but nashville has good comedy as well by the way the zanies yeah. zanies in nashville is fantastic to go to always have really good acts that come through i mean theo vaughn is there often oh you know always to throwing out new material and um it's it's fantastic there it really is that's great i, I um, throw fantastic out enough but man we're talking about some sweet spots sweet spots yeah i love when you say sweet spots mm. here um austin also it's kind of like nashville i mean it's kind of drink live music, comedy, as you mentioned, food. Yes. So that's a good, if you only have a short time, you know, Nashville, Austin are great spots. Scottsdale, again, there's lots to do. Austin also has Lake Travis. So yeah. you can go rent a boat there and that's just an jet epic skis. Time. Yeah. I'm you a get jet maybe, ski guy. Love a yeah. jet ski. Perfect. Let's that cruise with jet ski. Uh, so it. I, yeah, if you go to Austin, make sure one day you rent a big pontoon boat, you tie up in, I think it's called Devil's Cove. But uh, yeah, Devil's Cove. They call so, it that for a reason, I hear. I think so. Yeah, Devil's Cove. What else do we have? Oh, also in Austin, they have, uh, what's the river called? Uh, the Guadalupe River. It's just mm. 15 minutes from Austin, and you float I've it. Not been, I've not been to the Guadalupe. I've not been. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I've seen pictures. Yeah, so that's. A lot of bachelorette parties going mm-hmm. down there. Wow. So you, I would spend two days on the water. One day, Lake Travis. One day, floating down. They have tubes there that you rent right at the river. You can decide where you want to go. If you want the long float, the short float. It's chaos. You're in the sun, having drinks. Bring your own beer. Incredible time. There's also a Barton Springs Pool, McKinney Falls State Park. Um, lots of fun stuff. Austin City Limits, if you want to go for an event. 
Yeah. I always wanted to do that. South by Southwest. So great music, a lot yeah. of music. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> have you have you been to Charleston? Ooh, I'm glad that's that was not on my original article because I'd never been. But then I went Charleston. Epic. That should be great. Yeah. Have you ever been? Dude, it's gr- I, I, I've been. Yeah. <laughs> have I been? I've been. It's a uh, fan. It's it's phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. And I I love to go. There's to the all the beaches around. There's multiple beaches to go to. All of them are really nice and clean. Um, for the most part, there's oh golly, what's this? I could. It's Does right it start with a W. No, I think it starts with a W. I, I there's some great bars around there. I, mm-hmm. The Blind Tiger and a couple others. But yeah. Um, Oh There's... man, I get down. Th- so the girl to guy ratio is insane there because of the nurses. So I think the the guy to girl ratio is like, I think it's five to two or something like. It's something nuts. Why guy... Why are there more nurses in Charleston? Is it like a big? Well, population? nurse. Well, ner- there's a nursing school there, and mm. uh, usually guys aren't nurses. <laughs> Couldn't tell you why, but they, yeah, you know, Wait, it's 2023. Maybe that'll change. It, I hope so. Well, I don't. You know, women are great nurses. So, men, women, everyone's equal. Everyone, yeah. <laughs> um, I also love about like the bar scene is incredible. I would say Charleston's like a cleaner, more upscale Austin, like in terms of looks. Austin, I feel, has gotten a little bit run down. Where Charleston's just charming. It's got the pretty architecture. It's like you're walking a little bit back in history, I would say. So love that place. It's also got fishing charters. Uh, is there anything else fun to do in Charleston? I feel like, again, it's just kind of a good drinking time. And it's another oh, Austin. Fishing. The fishing is phenomenal there as well. Yeah. Um, well, the, there is uh, great food. I mean, the food is unbelievable. Drinks are reasonably priced. Yeah, drinks are reasonably there, priced. There, really there, like there's well. this one. The... Oh, off Folly Beach, it's um. God. Yeah, I stayed on Folly Beach. Are you thinking of a restaurant or a bar? It's it's this wonderful like kind of um, convenience deli, quick mart right off Folly. I gotta think of it. It's gonna kill me. Oh no, I've um, got it. Such a big fan um, of um. It. It's a woman's name, Martha's, Mary's, oh. Angelique's, Angelica's. Maybe I've got it. Uh, when did I go? I think I went in November. Um, well, anyways, while we think about that, uh, another place which I love is kind of like a, a San Diego of the East is like St. Pete, Siesta Key area. Have you ever been there? I have not. Tell me more. Um, beautiful. Um, it's just very chill. If you want something a bit more laid back, kind of like San Diego, but even less partying. Still, it's tons of great bars, beach bars. Go very chill and flip flops. They've got some upscale restaurants at Siesta mm-hmm. Key if you want to do that. The beach is majestic. The water's gorgeous. If you just want a good old time with the guys or girls, and you know some nice chill bars, that's the place to do it. So if, if you're on the East Coast and you can't make it to San Diego, go to St. Pete. Go to Siesta Key. Siesta Key gets a little bit more ragey. Uh, St. Pete does in Siesta Key, but. I love it there. So if you want just a nice little beach vacation. I'm going to call this in. I'm going to call in some help real quick. No, I've got it right here. No, you don't have the store name. I do. I literally went there in October 31st. It is Anna's. Sammy boy. What is Anna's? It's called Anna's. store name that we love so much? The deli right off the beach. What beach? Charleston. Oh, you're saying Charleston. Perts. I thought we were talking St. Hey, buddy. Siesta Key. How you guys doing? Yeah, it's right next to Chico Bayo. Yeah, Perts. This is Sam Alfrey. You know, he, he trusts straight shooter. He can trust his word. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's get Perts. Perts. Tell him thank you. We got to get on to the all right, Burt. next month. Perts. Perts with a B. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Make great desserts as well. Great sandwiches. And it's right off the beach. What beach is it off of again? It's right next to Chico Fan. Chico Fan. And what a, what a, Chico what? 
Chico Feo. And what's the beach? It, that's on Folly. Folly. Folly Beach. Okay. Yep. Yep. Unbelievable. Perfect. Thank you, Sam. I'll call you back. Thanks, bye. Yeah. Thanks, Sam. Um, shout out, Sam. Yeah. Shout out to Sam for his unbelievable knowledge. Well, he's a well of knowledge, you know, and yeah. pull, I'm pulling up buckets, pulling up buckets. But Burt's, Burt's off Folly Beach in Charleston, it's worth just the trip, you know, buy the plane ticket to go have a sandwich there and then go eat it on the beach and have a beer. It's just so nice. Yeah, you know, so nice. Sounds nice. Um, I think we've got a, f- we're already 36 minutes in, so maybe we knock out a couple quick ones, Yeah. which I'm going to go ski if you want a little wintry one. Uh, Whistler in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. If everyone has a passport, no one has a DUI within five years, you want to go there. Um, it is just, like you said, you go skiing for a couple of days, epic parties, incredible food. It's just got... Anything, everything. The only issue is Whistler again. You have to fly into Vancouver, and that takes a few hours to get from the airport to Whistler. So you definitely need a four day or maybe a five day for that one. Similar to a Tulum, where you, Tulum or Plate of Carmen, you definitely want longer times. But Vancouver also has incredible hikes, Grouse Mountain. There's just a billion things to eat in Vancouver and Whistler. Um, I've definitely. If you, if, I mean, no offense, but I've, because uh, I'm talking to a Canadian. Uh, just, I've heard Canada is a nice hot spot to catch a charge, you know, and bachelor parties are renowned for some people catching charges. And, uh, last time I checked of uh, going abroad and catching charges, terrible place, terrible place to do it. And in some aspects, but you know what? Some people haven't talked about tell you ride, hmm. tell you ride amazing yeah. food. You know, you can get right in if you're very drivable. It's drivable if you're out west, you know, From uh, where it's not drivable at all. It's I mean, like, like Dallas, six hours, you know, I see you're saying, you okay. know what I mean? Like, I know is that close to Dallas? Yeah. I mean, you're, you're in, I think Arizona. we're like seven. That's a hot, I mean, Colorado yeah. is such a hot spot for people yeah. in Arizona. Um, mm-hmm. it, it really spot. is. It is a cold spot. It is mm-hmm. a cold spot. But it also is nice in the summers. You know, you got the mountain mm-hmm. biking. Which, you know, you've got a mountain bike. I got a mountain bike. Segway. I do. A really nice Great. mountain I just want to ex- I just want to let people to know about me mountain biking. And once again, I am available to Dallas mountain bikers mm-hmm. whenever. Maybe there's whenever. a Facebook group you can join. I'm going to find it if there is. I'm sure there is. I haven't really done any deep diving on the Facebook groups yet in Dallas, but golly, I am. I'm about to. That's great. I'm about to, I'm about to get on the Dallas uh, Lost Pets and uh, just really start looking, helping people find some Lost Pets. I hear that's a great way to find connections. Yeah, I'm sure. City. That's really nice. You help them. They feel lost better. You're part of it. I don't really mess with, you know, because usually they want me to start climbing trees, these mm-hmm. random people, and I'm not about that. No, but a dog you can just catch. Maybe some treats. I coax them in. I coax them yep. in. I can, you know. On the uh, the winter aspect, South Lake Tahoe, Heavenly Mountain. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You want a little. I like it. Now, it, again, it's hard to get in. It's, was it an hour and a half from Reno? Especially right now like with the amount of snow they've had. Oh, mm-hmm. man. God bless those people. They, they live yeah. in a winter wonderland now. They're, yeah, they're so surviving, you know, out there. Crazy. Tons of great bars, tons of great appraise stuff to do in Heavenly. You can even do some hikes even in the winter. Just little strolls if you want to do that. So that's a good time. Same thing with Breckenridge. I mean, Breckenridge or Vale. Breckenridge is, I would say, more commercialized. And I'm not the mm. biggest fan of their food, to be honest. It's, it's great yeah. for snow skiing and snowboarding and it, because mm. there's so many trails, you know, <clears throat> but it is a lot of people. I mean, a lot yeah. of people go to Breckenridge. So you're, you're fighting the masses wherever you go. Um, yeah. and I, and it's hard to coordinate with, you know, how a lot of trips can be, especially when they're high intensity. It's a lot of times hard to coordinate for dinner, you know, and uh, you can't really do a lot of things on the fly in Breckenridge, you know, in yeah. terms of that. You have to come in with everything with the reservation. And uh, with groups, that can really be a, you know, a real big biatch. And, uh, you know, 
Yeah. All right. Well, cross Breckenridge off the list. Fuck it. We won't do that anymore. I, I'm. I'm just heavenly. Saying, I would say it's a great spot. Great spot. But bachelor party, you know, could be tough. Breckenridge. Could be if you're looking for. I would. I would scope out the other places. Maybe a, a big sky, you know, or um, uh, Winter Park, hmm. Utah. The unbelievable. I've heard. Unbelievable. Yeah. Park City. Park City. Sorry, yeah. Park City, Utah. That's okay. Winter Park. Uh, yeah, good. that's great. Maybe we'll close out with one last one. If you have a lot of money and it's simple to get to Belize. You want to blow it. You want yeah. to go wild. So you can go to Belize, same thing. But I mean, if you're going to go to Belize, you can always do Tulum. Imagine Belize just a little bit, not even that much further. The, the Cancun airport, I think it's only an extra 40 minutes. So you fly mm-hmm. to Belize City, you can go to the islands, you go to Placencia. And uh, the nightlife isn't as crazy on the mainland, on the islands. It is a bit more, you know, stuff to do, but you need more time. So similar to Loom, you need at least five days to kind of make it worth it with all the travel. But another great spot. Not a lot of people have PTO. You know, not a lot of people have the paddy time off. You can't, you got a weekend in you, you know, you got a weekend. But if you are blowing it, you know, if you got Mm. a week in you, Frazier, your top guy, you're, you're saying you're, that, that's your. Yeah, one, yeah. Co- I, I might go to Costa Rica if you just want to yes, more of the Pura Vida. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pura Vida. Love that. So that, that's that's where I think if we have plenty of time, Costa Rica or you know maybe Tulum for just ease of Blind access. San Jose, you know, yeah. and then the world is your oyster from there. Mm-hmm. South America is your oyster from there. Yeah, with a passport. To be honest, Costa Rica is fire. Yeah, love, love me some Hello. Costa Rica. <laughs> Love it. Los well, Sueños. That, it says you know. the dreams, but it, it, it it's um it's a fantastic town, especially if you're looking to sport fish. Once again, you go yeah. to the Pacific side and it's the world's best sail fishing. It's I have been. I've gotten a big old trophy. 180 pound sail. Unreal. They exist there. Wow. There. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. Also, but, hey, you fishing. never answered. You oh, yeah. never answered about the porta potty situation in Tulum's pyramids. Um, and so, what, what's what are we talking about? Gift shop wise, what are we talking about? Just overall area. What what are your top couple pyramids to visit as a bachelor party? Uh, if you're talking about ancient sites that you've been to, which ancient site would be your top one? Yeah, because I don't think you can call them pyr- pyramids per se, because they're not pyramids. I think that's in Egypt. Um, well, but the Tulum you know, ruins, it, the ruins, it's as you debatable. say, debatable. You're right. Okay, except they're not semantics. Uh, my favorite, but it's too far for a bachelor party, is Chichen Itza. But it's just a, you need to dedicate a whole day to it. I would only do that if you're in Tulum, Playa Carmen, or Cancun for a full week. And you have time to spare because it, it takes it eats up eight to ten hours driving there, hanging out, walking around. Something quick and simple, the Tulum ruins. I went with a bachelor party recently. It's nothing amazing, but it's at least, you know, you got to see some ruins. You, you know, check something off your little bucket list. So it makes you feel like, you know, I accomplished something. I saw some history. Yes. They're not spectacular, but they're all right. Uh Koba ruins is a little bit closer than Chichen Itza closer to Tulum it's like an hour and a half each way so I would do that one but again you probably need six eight hours to do those which I don't think you want to do for a bachelor party so I'd say just Tulum ruins since it's right in the heart of Tulum knock it out in a couple hours get back to maybe go to Cenote nearby yes I like get which a Cenote for people like me I I didn't know what a Cenote was until recently but uh, underwater caves you know, yeah. that you can jump into from up above, yeah. um, like it, trap doors into underworlds. They are, uh, yeah. you know, I, I, I haven't I'm been in that. one yet, but boy, do I look forward to penetrating one. It's, it's going to be a great day when I, Absolutely. next time I'm in Mexico, uh, I'm going to find me a cenote guy. Perfect. Well, I'll help you out with that. I've got on the website, let's close it up. Inspire travel.com. It's got Wait. best things to do in all these cities, so just go there, there and there, you can see the best cenotes. There and is more. one thing. I, there is one thing I needed to bring up. There is yeah. one thing I need to bring up for those guys who are the alpha males 
who are looking to treat their to treat all their satisfaction and we were talking about not having a uh, you know a per se a passport but you want to do something kind of exotic i would recommend mm-hmm. texas a lot of a lot of crazy ranches in texas uh it's basically africa at a couple of these places uh oh yeah good that, point one of our buddies um yeah. shout out shout out i forgot whose bachelor party this was but ox was, hunting uh, ranch was it trey yeah. it was um yeah but it was not matt Maybe. or was it maddie yeah it was maddie man but yeah they, yeah they crazy crazy stuff that you can do and it's not necessarily all about killing you know if you have a couple buddies who are like i don't want to shoot an animal you know they can just go play with the giraffes yeah i said it live giraffes just hanging outside your cabin just um it it it's unbelievable the amenities some of these buy you know sometimes you like beaches aren't necessarily my thing i'm more of a lake guy you know so Mm. massages aren't on the beaches aren't my thing, but a massage at a game ranch, you know, like they, they have them, they have spas. It's like, it's ultra lux. And, uh, your buddy can also take home an African game animal for, uh, literally, I think, uh, it's, it's pretty expensive. You know, it's, it's actually really expensive, uh, to actually mount one, but, um, they, to go out there and just be amongst the safari itself, I, I think that's, you know, it's a, it's a great, um, you know, simulation of Africa, you know, for yeah. half the price, you know, it's, it's great. So yeah, if you're and a hunter shots and stuff, there's a lot of things you don't have to worry about. That's great. Good insight. Yeah, no, I, if you're into hunting and all that kind of stuff, that's definitely a great place to go. I'm with you. Shout out Ox Hunting Ranch. Shout out. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. I hope you enjoy your Coors Pure. I may have where, to get some. Where, 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 what have you been drinking this whole episode? Just the Mick Ultra and the Old Smoky. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you want to take a shot with me? I'll, I have one thing I can take. I have some bourbon. We can take a shot. All right. Well, he's going coffee. off. We're going to have a shot off camera. Thanks for coming. InspireTravelly.com. I'm your host, Fraser LeVay. Jackson Greaves, Biscuits and Gravy, here he comes. And uh, yeah, happy Bachelor Bachelorette parties, folks. Just tell him bye, Jackson. Oh, Bachelorette, highly recommend. <laughs> highly recommend the Nashville. Tons, tons of things. And I have a there lot of go. attractive friends in Nashville that would love to talk to you. And hit up, hit up my DMs, and I'll uh, guide you to it. I'll probably edit this out. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao.